track toward the United States, still remaining a Category 2 storm. Until Thursday, it will strengthen to a Category 3. By Friday, Category 4. It's anticipated to make landfall Friday afternoon, possibly into Friday evening. And once it does, a little uncertain on if it will weaken or intensify once it does make landfall. But we know for a fact that it will definitely strengthen and will likely pound Louisiana and will continue to work its way northeast. Now, as we bring it a little closer to home, high pressure will bring us another hot day today. It did manage to shift yesterday. It is now parked across the Texas Panhandle, just north of the Texas Panhandle. So we'll be tracking above average temperatures again today. 93 is the high that I'm forecasting. The record to beat 96 and that was set back in 1979. So I don't think we'll break any records, but we'll still run well above the average. Typically around this time we're in the low 80s. We'll be in the 90s for the rest of the week. Then this cold front will arrive late in the day on Sunday. It's going to usher in cooler air, but before that, it'll kick up the winds. So we'll be dealing with low and windy conditions Saturday with gusts around 30 miles an hour. Then by Sunday, gusts at 40 miles an hour. So if you live in East El Paso, Northeast El Paso, you'll have to deal with the strongest winds this weekend. We're at 92 degrees Saturday, Sunday 87 degrees for El Paso, 88 degrees on Saturday for Las Cruces, mid 80s by Sunday. Your weekend forecast sponsored by the Mattress Firm. So the heat is on again today, El Paso, 93 for Fort Bliss, 95 for Socorro, Clint, low 90s for Favens. We're tracking plenty of sunshine today, but we are waking up to hazy conditions. 92 for Horizon City, San Eli, and a little further east, Tornillo, we're also in the 90s. So here is your seven-day forecast. It's going to be hot for the rest of the week this weekend, too, but once that cold front moves in, we're at 87 Sunday, about 10 degrees cooler on Monday, and then we'll finally see seasonal normals by Tuesday. Next